October 3rd. Um, it's a little after 1 in the afternoon right now. Uh, today is kind of mine and Jacob's first day of statewide archery. Um, October 1st, Saturday, was actually opening day. But my oldest son, Caleb, got married yesterday on the 2nd. So Jake and I had wedding rehearsals Saturday on opening day. So this is the first day we've been able to get out. Um, we actually did go to another spot this morning and I got up in the tree, turned my camera on, and realized my SD card was still in my computer at home. And luckily I didn't see any deer anyway. I say luckily, but I would have been pretty irritated if I saw something to shoot and didn't have a camera have a camera to use. But uh, I did take a shot at a coyote at 30 yards and missed him. Took some hair off his back. And about 15 minutes later he came back right to the same spot and was kind of sniffing around, wondering what was what happened or whatever and before I could get my bow in my hand and get a second shot on him he ended up taking off and I never saw him again but the crappy thing is I lost an arrow a uh, lit knock and a broadhead that I could not find so I am in a spot right now I've never actually hunted in this spot I've hunted this general area but I put a camera down in here actually down this valley on this brook run early this summer and when I went to go check it I jumped a nice 10 pointer in here this was like in June probably and he already had a pretty big rack on him and I jumped him right in this area right here and I went down to check that camera and I got nothing but small bucks and a couple of those so I brought that camera up out of the valley and put it over here and I've been consistently getting that 10 pointer and a couple other smaller bucks eight pointers or something one of them looks like he's got a four point rack on one side and then just like this messed up big long two big long spikes and a big fork I don't know it's weird looking I don't know if I get hit by a car or what happened to him but like I said it's uh, a little after one right now I think 649 or something like that is legal time so I got about a five hour sit and I've had does and stuff coming through here consistently so hopefully we can get an arrow in something today Jake is kind of in the same piece of woods but he's probably almost a half a mile away from me in another spot where we've got another couple eight pointers on camera so I'm gonna shut up and hopefully we see something tonight I can't even believe that just happened. Well, I don't know if you saw the video, but I just posted a video the other day that I was contemplating on whether or not to upload to YouTube, and it was me making a bad shot on a bear during bear season over bait. And I just felt like total crap about it. I'm sure the bear that I shot still alive, but I was like, wanted to redeem myself so bad, and I just didn't think it was gonna happen this year because baiting season's over. I could run the dogs with Kyle, or just happen to have one come by. I couldn't even believe that. I've only been in the stand for like 45 minutes, an hour maybe. I looked over and saw something coming, and I first I thought it was a deer probably coming. I figured, oh, here comes a doe or something. 
and I realized it was a black bear. I was like, holy crap, and he just walked right out in front of me, right in the wide open. Never even saw me. I drew on him, and he was kind of facing me, and he finally turned a little bit. Oh, that's crazy. I might even actually be able to drive my truck right to that bear. He, there's a logging road that comes in from the road about half a mile back. And it sounded like he literally, he, I saw him go out to that road and start walking down it, and then he started death moaning, so. I can't even believe that just happened. I probably ought to get him out of here so I don't blow this spot up. Because there's that big buck around here somewhere, so. I guess I'm not going to see him today. But I just sent Jacob a message. He's probably a half a mile from me. He actually dropped me off and took my truck up the road. He's finally got his driver's license, so. I'm going to uh, shoot Kyle a message because he's the, he's the guy to call when it comes to bears, so <sighs> that's insane. <clears throat> well, Jacob's not answering my text. He probably doesn't have service where he is. I barely do here, but I got a hold of Kyle, and he is not too far away, so I'm going to pack my stuff up, go find this guy, and I'll probably walk out of here to the road and meet Kyle, but I got to get my stand down and everything else, so. That's awesome. All right, well, I just got out of the tree. I'm uh, just gonna leave my stuff right there for now and go find my arrow and find my bear. I can't even believe this just happened. That is actually the first time I've ever seen a bear while deer hunting. And I think the only time really before I started bear hunting over bait the only time I'd seen a bear was like driving down the road, come around a corner, and one would jump off into the bushes and disappear. But that was totally unexpected. I looked over and saw something coming. I thought for sure it was a deer. I had to try to kind of figure out where that thing was standing. See if I can find my arrow. I already lost one arrow this morning, shooting a coyote in another spot. I thought I got a pass through, but wait a minute over here, actually. Well, I'll come back and look for my arrow, I guess. Might still be in him, I don't know. I'm gonna go find him now. <laughs> well, I thought he went out to the log road that I came in on. I think he's actually right over here, though. Yep, right there. Seriously quartering shot. That's awesome. I missed a big one during bear baiting season. That makes up for it. But I'm going to uh, go wrap my stuff up and uh, Kyle should be on his way by now or pretty close to it. He was in a stand hunting in another spot, so... Actually, my phone's ringing right now. Got my uh, stand all packed up. I'm gonna leave my backpack with the bear and my bow and uh, carry my stand out and meet Kyle. And we'll come back and get everything. Like I was saying, I only saw one bear during bear season. Well, it's still bear season technically, but during hunting over bait, I only saw that one bear. Screwed up the shot on it. Felt like crap about it ever since. And another buddy of mine was like, you will get redemption. <laughs> I had pretty much uh, given up on that idea at this point. I was on into deer hunting mode at this point, but uh, 
that was totally unexpected. I can't even believe that happened. Not a big bear, but big enough. I get walking down here and meet up with Kyle. I have no service hardly at all. I don't know why my phone's like sometimes it's working, sometimes it won't. <laughs> yeah, I can't even believe that happened. I'd pretty much given up on bears at this point. <laughs> I was sitting there, I'd only been in, in the stand probably 45 minutes to an hour. I looked over and I see something coming. I'm like, and first thought was like, oh, it's a doe. I'm like, here comes a doe or something. You know, there's no way that big buck's coming through. And then I'm like, holy crap, that's a bear coming. It's <laughs> crazy. I thought he actually ran out to this road and uh, I had to take some clothes off, man. just gonna skin it like uh we're not worried about saving nothing we can probably do it all hanging yeah. we'll just hang it by the back feet like you would a deer and make the cuts on the legs and yeah. strip it right off What is it? <laughs> 